don't mind the sweat, it's a hot ass day. Good morning. I figured that, yeah, we came to the conclusion today that all this time that Anus has been in hospital, like 10 days or whatever, all of us haven't visited at once because we haven't had the opportunity to. So, yeah, being that it's Sunday and it's going to be a slow day and hopefully the tram doesn't fill up, we decided to all go for a ride on the tram. So it's BB's first trip on a tram. She's a full Melbourne girl now. She's a Melbourne girl. So yeah, tram ride above up. You ready to see mum? She's gonna cry. She's gonna cry. She's gonna cry. Look. <laughs> Alright, private moments. Bye. Little baby beefy. All tuckered out. She hates it when she gets her routine messed up. She's been pissy all, all some of the afternoon. She fell asleep on the tram again, so I was not that bad. Yeah, no hospital stuff today. As I said, it was our first time all together in like 10 days, so... Anus was a bit teary. So it was just a private family moment today. I know you guys will understand. So yeah, we're just walking back home now. Just jumped off the tram. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'll do this Arvo. Probably play Tomb City. <laughs> no, you know what? But, While we're in the hospital, yeah. it rained and we missed oh, it. Oh yeah, look. Look at the puddles. Look at the puddles. It rained in Coburg and we missed it because we were in the city and it didn't rain in the city. Yeah, so if we had look been at, home... Look at those beautiful clouds and the clouds behind us. Yeah, if we had been here, we could have had all the windows and doors open. Could have pulled the house right down. But now we're going to go back. Everything's closed. House, yeah, house is going to be this big hot box. So... Oh! Ah, we're drifting! We're drifting! Alright, so I lied okay when I said I was going to unpack stuff this weekend and find my, my sheet. I lied. I lied. I don't care. I'm tired. Yeah. All of us going into the city today and visiting Anus was something that she really, really needed. And even though she cried, um, they were happy tears. So, yeah. Don't, don't get upset, guys. I know some of you are, like, super sensitive and stuff. Just don't get upset. Um... I forgot to tell you the other day what happened with the car when, um, yeah, when we were in Brunswick and mum had to drive home super slow and, yeah, things like that. The, um, the transmission started slipping. Basically, we were driving down Sydney Road and then I felt the car sort of like, dirt like that and I could feel the power go in my foot as in, as in, as in not be there, um, as in leave. So, yeah, I started to just gently push the accelerator and I heard the car engine rev, but transmission wasn't like kicking in as properly as it should and yeah it was taking way too much effort so we stopped and um because we were really close to a service station so we went around the block and come back and parked in the service station and started to like check fluids and things like that and basically long story short yeah we think got a transmission problem because the transmission fluid was actually full so we're going to take it to a mechanic um our old mechanic that because anus the BMW was originally Anus' first car ever. And then she had it for a few years and then um, she sold it to my grandparents because they were looking for a car and at that stage, and the stage was just like over it. She wanted something else. And she sold them the car and then she bought the, the Merc, the, the Buttercup. Um, and then grandparents had it for about a year and a half, two years, I think. And they wanted to sell it because they wanted to buy a new car, a smaller car. Um, and something easier for my grandmother to drive around and things like that. So, uh, Anus bought it back. <laughs> well, it's a, a big convoluted um, story, that's for sure. Uh, so, yeah. So, we've got to get um, transmission looked at and just get the oils flushed and fluids and all that and just get a service done at the same time because that's what you do. And, yeah, so that's what's wrong with the car. So, basically, we haven't tried to drive it. A long distance since then we've only drove it to like the supermarket and back or the shop and back just like easy drives so yeah hopefully it's nothing too serious but yeah that's about it <laughs>